think when most people think about transphobia, they imagine physical altercations, bullying in public. But I think what's most difficult about my life right now is the intimate violence that comes from within. The people who you feel should understand, but don't. And the hard thing that I wanted to bring to this conversation today was transphobia that comes from women. Because I feel like it's something that often doesn't get thought about or work through, but it's actually what hurts me the most. Mm -hmm. Because I feel like feminism and specifically my mother and my grandmother created the conditions for me to have the audacity to own my own body. And I see my life and my gender as a continuation of a tapestry of women who had the bravery to say, no, thank you. And for that love to be unreciprocated, I think creates a kind of grief in me that feels so overwhelming and arduous that it feels impossible to puncture, but we can do hard things, right? Oh my goodness. Can you tell me what, when you say for that to be unreciprocated, can you tell me what you mean by that specifically? I see so much of what the trans movement being in the world is a love letter that says, I believe in your capacity for transformation. I believe in your capacity for self-determination. And then in response to that love, we're told that we are wrong, that we're disorderly, that we're foolish, that we're ridiculous, that we're delinquents, that we're predators, that we're violent. And that's a pain that I continue to face as my words reach more people, is this extreme and coordinated backlash to tarnish me and by extension, tarnish the ideas that have been here, they're ancient ideas, because I think what patriarchy does is it makes us publicists, right? And we find ourselves speaking it, doing it, living it, thinking it with such a fierce allegiance that if someone dare say another way of living is possible, people would rather eradicate and extinguish that alternative than confront that kind of spiritual nudity of asking, who am I outside of what patriarchy wants me to be? 